Hello everyone, this is Ashley Tucker. Thank you for joining me today. Today I'm going to be designing a card for Spellbinders and I'm going to be using this stamp set called Floral Love. I have a piece of vellum that I prepped with my powder tool for embossing and I took the large floral image from the stamp set and I'm going to be stamping that with Versamark ink and then I'll emboss it with a white embossing powder. I made sure to press down on the entire stamp very well so that I didn't miss any of it because it is a pretty big stamp. This stamp does fit in the Mini Misty, but I just decided to use the Fisker stamp press. Next I took a piece of Canson watercolor paper and I taped it down to a board. Taping your paper down to a hard board helps to prevent some of the warping when you're painting. I used some clean water and I went over that whole paper and got it really wet and then I started picking out the colors that I'm going to use. I'm using my Gonzai Tombi watercolors and I picked out the colors Rose Matter which is color number 34, Cadmium Orange which is color number 33, and Lemon Yellow which is color number 40. I placed those colors onto my palette, which is just a piece of white cardstock that I laminated, and I just added a very small amount of water. I didn't want it too watered down. I wanted the color to be nice and bright. So I just started dropping these colors in, and because the paper is really wet and saturated, those colors move around really easily, and I kind of tilt the board around to get them moving even more. Now I planned out the design for this card in advance, so I knew that I wanted all of this color kind of kept in that upper left hand corner. You can see as I tilt the board around how that water just moves that paint really easily. I really like the look that this creates. I really wanted to deepen up that pink color, so I added some more of that color to my palette, but this time I didn't add hardly any water to it. And then I dropped that in to deepen up that color. Once I was happy with the first layer of color, I used my heat tool to dry it completely, and then I came back in to do a second layer to really brighten up those colors. Now for the second layer of color, the paper isn't wet, it's completely dry, so I'm not going to get the same kind of movement that I got with the first layer of paint. I really tried to leave some of the edges where the paint meets the paper from the first layer of paint showing after I placed the second layer down because I really like the organic look of those edges. When you paint onto really wet paper, all of the edges are going to be really soft and faded, but when you paint onto dry paper, you're going to have more of a hard edge. Now I did do a third layer of paint just like I did with the second one and then I let it completely dry and then I took this gold metallic paint which is color number 91 and I got my paintbrush really saturated with it and then I tapped it over my paper so that I would get these little splatters. I picked out four different stamps from the Family Sentiments stamp set by Spellbinders and I put them together to create my sentiment. This is a really great stamp set because you can create a lot of different sentiments for a lot of different family members because it has things like sister and husband and friend and father. There's lots and lots of different options. So the sentiment that I created says for my amazing friend and I stamped that with Versamark ink and then I'm going to emboss it with a gold embossing powder. I thought that the gold embossing powder would look really good with the gold splatter that I did in the background. Next I took an A2 size card base and I glued a piece of slate gray cardstock onto that and then I'm going to take the background panel that I created and use my ATG gun to adhere that onto the card base. Now you might see that floral image that I stamped on the vellum up at the top of the screen. I took that and I fussy cut it out with my scissors and I'm actually going to pop that up onto the card in that upper left corner. I took a bunch of really tiny pieces of foam tape and I added it behind that floral image in areas where I thought the white embossing powder was most condensed. Now if you know to look for it and you're looking for it really hard, you can see some of that foam tape through the vellum, but unless you're looking for it, it's really hard to notice. To finish up this card, I took a whole bunch of crystal clear sequins and I arranged them along the edge of that vellum piece and then I glued them down using my Gina K Connect glue. 
Here's a closer look at the finished card and you can see all of the sparkle from the sequins and the shine from that gold paint in the background. Thank you for watching today. I hope you really enjoyed this card design featuring some products from Spellbinders. All of the supplies that I used for today's card can be found in the description down below. If you enjoyed watching and you haven't subscribed yet, I'd encourage you to hit that subscribe button so that you can see all of my future videos. I'm going to be back with a new video on Wednesday. Again, thank you for watching. I appreciate all of you and I hope you have a great day today.